What's going on guys? Today we are back out here working on the Nova and last time as you see in the last video it wouldn't start so we're kind of doing some troubleshooting. Uh, I think I've come pretty much to the end of it but the issue that we were noticing was that you would crank it, crank it, crank it, crank it, crank it, it would fire but it would just immediately die. So that led me to a couple different assumptions of what it might be. Obviously one the, one of the most basic ones would be plugs. You could hear that some cylinders were firing and it sounded like there may have been a cylinder that wasn't so I went around and felt the header tubes on each of the cylinders and cylinder number six on the passenger side seemed like it was cold. Way colder than the other cylinders which were all pretty warm if not hot. So that kind of narrowed it down to maybe it might be an issue with spark. So I went ahead, uh, pulled some of the plugs out and I'll show you the plugs later. Uh, some of them were fouled probably because the spark plug is a little bit colder of a plug than what these small block Chevys usually want. So. Um, it was probably too cold of a plug and not able to burn all the carbon buildup off of there. So I hope you guys can see this okay, but it is definitely a fouled plug. This was uh, plug number six. So it's not the worst I've ever seen, but it's definitely not what you want. I had to pull the passenger side headers off because literally it's impossible to get a new plug in there without pulling those off. So when I had pulled the passenger side header off, got all the plugs done, gapped them. So everything's installed, tried to fire it up, and it was still not wanting to stir. I mean, it would. It sounded much better when you were cranking it. You were getting more firing. It sounded like it wanted to. So the battery voltage was pretty low. Um, I charged it up. I would try to give it 50 amps from my little starter pack and it still wasn't wanting to start. So I went ahead and got a new battery. So that'll have all the cold cranking amps that we need. So this will be the first attempt to start this. Another thing that I did was take the uh, fuel mixture screws off up here. I just took them all the way out one by one and then blew compressed air through those holes just to clear out the idling system on the Elderbrock carburetor. That still wasn't doing it, so hopefully now the issue is just a very weak battery. So the new one is installed, so we're going to go ahead and try to start this thing. Also, if you guys can't hear, I have a lot of wind in the background, so I want to apologize for that in advance. Obviously, another thing that I did was check the plug wires, make sure that they were in the proper locations, which they were. So the firing order was all correct. So if it doesn't start with this, I think that it may be the HEI distributor control module. But if it's not, then it'll start right now. So we'll see what happens. Okay, so obviously that's not working. So it's cranking very, very slowly. Um, it might be an issue with the starter. So um, to eliminate kind of like the whole grounding situation, I just have a jumper wire that's going from the negative terminal of the battery to the ground for the starter, which is just the casting. So um, we'll see if this works. Okay, so it is finally trying to start here. Um, it's just me out here in the pole barn, so I'm having to make like some timing adjustments. Go try it, make another timing adjustment, go try it. So, very time consuming process, but I advanced the timing a little bit more, so we're gonna try to fire it up now. Sweet. Okay, so obviously it started. I'm gonna get the timing light ready, get it fired up again, and then we'll set our timing. So there it is. Um, I don't know if it was just a mix of a lot of things making this thing not run and it just had to like run for a little bit to get straightened out. But now, I mean, you literally just turn the key, it fires right up exactly like I had it before. So I think what it really liked was the advance in the timing and then uh, the new battery. Because when I was cranking the old battery, it would turn down to like 
nine volts whenever I was cranking. So obviously that's not what you want. So yeah, I can't tell you exactly what it was that fixed it. I honestly think it was just a mix of a lot of things because regardless of what I was doing, it never was really happy. The advancement of the timing obviously is what got it to start this time. But the weird thing is that I advanced the timing before I put all this other work into it and it wouldn't start. So, I mean, obviously plugs needed to happen anyways. But I think she's much happier now. So um, she is dialed into a T. I'll show you. I mean, you just turn the key and she fires right up. Alright guys, thanks for watching. Glad this thing is finally running. Now we can move forward with some of the other projects. Anyways, if you haven't already, make sure that you're subscribed to the channel, and I'll see you guys in the next one.